Good evening, everyone, and welcome once again to today's meeting. Um, I'll just go ahead and share my screen, and then we'll take it off from there. What we'll be looking at today in today's meeting is um, we're going to look at um, the trading settings for the prime bot. We're going to look at that together. And at the end of the day, you will ask your questions and get clarified on whatever you don't understand. So just bear with me as I share my screen. Let me just get the phone or the, my phone up because it would be better I share the screen from the phone. Uh, that way you will you know, be able to follow up better. All right, thank you. Thank you, Augustine. So I just go ahead and open up my browser. And when I open up my browser, what you see here is the prime bot. So I want us to look at the settings together and, and then we'll take it up from here. Uh, whatever questions you have, you go ahead and ask your questions after doing um, this together with you this evening. But for those of you who are still having doubt, for the sake of those of you who are still having doubts in your mind, uh, normally what I do with the Prime Board uh, platform is share um, results of the trading that is ongoing. I don't share the results from, let's say, affiliate earnings and the rest too, in order to convince people because the affiliate earning, when it comes to this board stuff of a thing, the affiliate earning is always higher than the trading itself. But for the sake of those who may not be able to recruit people who just want to earn passive income, you know, using their money, investing their money in the trading aspect of it, that is what I want you to concentrate on because when I click on income here, once I go ahead and click on income, you will see um, you can not count the day. Let me just go from where this particular account started trading. I set up this account on the 11th of October, as you can see um, by the side there, I set up this account on the 11th of October. And right now from that 11th, you can see um, when I click on, let's say on the 12th, you will see all of the tokens that were traded that made profit that day. These are all the tokens that were traded that made profit that day. And that is what amount to whatever profit you are seeing um, for that particular day on the trail. So if you count from the 11th to today, that is 30th, you can actually calculate that this board has been trading for a few days right now. And the cumulative profit here is what it has made from the day it was activated. From the day it was activated. Of recent, you are seeing $8, $1 because of how volatile the market is, the crypto market is. You know, when we started trading at a point from $67,000, Bitcoin dropped down to 61. So we are just at that interim right now. we we'll wait until when the price goes up again. So um, that is what is currently going right now with this account. And you can, as you can see here, the account is doing very well. And that will now lead us back to the trading itself. So I'll just go back to the trading. All right, so if you can see my screen, um, what we need to do to set up any trade for any, um, let's say you, you got the settings that I sent or the signals that I sent. If I open up my WhatsApp, open up WhatsApp and open up the prime board group, I sent this signal for those of you who will be following up with the signal stuff. If you have enough uh, phones on your account, You'll see the Ethereum signal that I sent today, this particular signal here that I sent today is what I'm going to use to actually demonstrate what is going on with the uh, trading settings on the board. Please just follow up with what I'm going to show you right now. So let's say you got something like this. All I just need to do is when I come in here to the board, um, you will want to go to where it says order. Just here where it says order, you want to click on it. So go ahead and click on order. And once we click on order, it pulls up this particular um, page for us where you have all of the tokens that you can trade. As you can see, these are the list of all of the tokens that I can trade with the uh, particular exchange that I've linked up this week. If you are, if you are using Binance, the tokens you'll be, uh, some of the tokens you trade on Binance are not available on, on Ruby. For example, the BNB uh, token, because Ruby has their own uh, native token. So they cannot be promoting Binance native token. That is one thing that is um, common with these exchanges. 
So if you don't see BNB on your UOB exchange, don't blame them because they have their own native token and they want to promote their own native token. And their own native token, which they are projecting right now, may one day become $500, $500 and something dollars, and so on. So if you don't see it, it depends on the exchange that you are using. So when we come in here, these are the trades that I currently have running. Some of us will not understand this. When you don't, you don't, when you are seeing what I'm showing you here, it doesn't mean that you with a hundred dollar account, with five hundred dollar account, you go ahead and open all of this trade. It is not possible. As you can see, none of my trade, even with all of the minus that are showing here, minus eleven percent, minus three percent, none of this trade is showing USDT error, and that is because I have enough fund in my account to cover up for this. So when you have just a hundred dollar, two hundred dollar, I would just advise, even if I you get up to ten signals in the group in a day, don't trade all the ten signals. Just trade the one that you you let's say at least two trade, two two tokens or two pairs of tokens in your account, because some of you will see this now and go ahead and start opening any trade with just a hundred dollar in your account. It doesn't work that way, and that is the essence of having this meeting so that you'll be able to understand things better here. And as you can see, I have all of these and I still have a balance on my account that can cover for all of this if for any reason this keep dropping. With that being explained, let me just open up one of these three and show you what is in. Let's say the Ethereum that I sent this morning, if I go ahead and open up the Ethereum um, token here, I've already started the trade, but I just want to show you. Now, when you got that signal, what the signal said is, um, that the purchase price should be 30. As you can see, a purchase price should be 30. So I'll go ahead and open up that board and show you where that is. So he, right here on the tree, um, I'm going to go to this setting icon here. If you can see my screen, this setting icon right here. Let me just shift this somewhere, sorry. Let me shift this. The setting icon is this. So I'm going to click on that setting icon to open up the trade settings. And where you have the purchase, the first purchase price is where you put in that 30 USDT. By default, what you have here is 15. And because of the exchanges we are using, the minimum you can trade with this board is 15 USDT, $15. So it has to be whatever I put in. If I say 30, put in 30. If I say 15, put in 15. But these are, um, these are my own personal recommendation that I send out to the group. If you have enough funds to cover for this, let's say you're trading with $10,000, $20,000 or thereabout in your account, you can actually change this to $1,000. You can change this because the more money you have here, the more profit you make. But what I recommend in my trade, in my settings, because I know a lot of you don't have that much funds to actually trade, is 30 USDT, meaning you will put in 30 USDT. Yeah, you change it from the default 15 to 30. But as I said earlier, if you have enough funds in your account and you're trading with you know, that huge amount of money, you can change it to 100 USDT, you can change it to 1,000 USDT, you can change it to whatever you want because the more funds you have here, the more profit you will make. At the end of the day, the next one will be the, the, the mode of trade. If it is circle, go ahead and check circle here. If it is single, go ahead and check. I, I normally set back to, you know, fall back to single when the market has gone below the percentage that I'm going to show you uh, here. Let's say when it goes below 16%, 15% uh, or thereabout, when it goes beyond that, I will just set my trade to single so that it just sells and I leave this token and I look for another alternative token to trade. So after setting up this to circle, the next thing you want to do is scroll down here. Now for the custom setting, you will always see here, let me open up the WhatsApp again. You always see here that it says um, the profit ratio here will say it is 1%, and then take profit callback is equally 1%. And then the double position is going to be double. When I say double position, it means you are going to check the double position on, and then you follow this. First cover will be 3%, second cover will be 6%, and so on. So if I go back to my bot again, let me open up the bot. Now, once I come back to the board again, what I want to do is um, here where it say custom setting, we are going to change the other quantity from seven. By default, it is seven times. So we are going to change it from seven times to five times. You go ahead and select five times. 
and then the take profit ratio we say it is what one percent so go ahead and select one percent and then the only any callback is should be one percent not one zero so make sure that you change this from this to it one zero is equally one percent actually uh, so make sure you change it to 0 0.1 and then the callback for my the callback for margin call leave it as default as 0 0.3 and if you get you know confused about any of these things you see this question mark in each of these all of this question mark once you click on it it tells you details of what is recommended in that particular uh, option so let's say the callback for margin call if i click on the question mark you will see the details explanation of what this is all about and then the recommended settings for this will be 0 0.3 to 0 0.5, but I prefer to leave it at 0, 0 0.3. So just leave it as default and then make sure that you check this um, double position on. By default, it will be off. Go ahead and check it on. When you check it on, the next thing you want to do is the first cover has to be 3% as I sent on that signal. The second cover has to be 6%. What this simply means is that what you are telling the board to do is I want to make profit from this particular token that I'm trading. But if for any reason, because of how volatile the market, the crypto market is, if for any reason, this crypto, uh, this particular token drops by 3% here, if for any reason it drops by 3%, I want you to buy two times. And if it goes further to drop by 6%, this is what is called buying the dip. You buy the dip and when it finally goes up, you sell and you make more profit. Then if it goes down more by 6%, I want to buy four times. If it goes down by 9%, I want to buy eight times. If it goes down more by 12%, I want to buy 16 times. And then the last one, which is the fifth cover here is, if it goes down, what I'm simply saying here is that if it goes down by 15%, I want to buy 32 times. Now, for you to be able to cover up up to 32 times, it means that you need to have enough for, remember that the first purchase amount or the first purchase price is 30 USDT. So if you are saying that when this price drop by 30, by 15%, you want to buy 32 times, it means you need to have 30 by 32, 30 by 32 times. So whatever that gives you, it means that you need to have that amount of fund in your account to be able to carry out, this is for the, this, this trade alone. And it will only happen when the market keep dropping. So what you are simply saying, you want to buy the dip and the board helps you to do that. Though the board is automated, but you need to give the board an instruction to work with. And that is what we do in these settings. And after all of this, you go ahead and click on update. And once you click on update, if it is a new token that you are just starting with, um, once it tells you that update successful, it is updated successful, the next thing is to start that trade by just clicking on startup. All right, so once you click on update, it will bring you back to this page. If this is the first time you are starting up this particular trade, what you will see here, down here, it will be instead of pause, it will be start or startup. So you just go ahead and click on startup and that trade will be started for you. And once it's started, another thing I want you to pay attention to is this particular setting right here. All of this, this is what I want to equally take our time to explain. Now, here we have, we have circle, meaning that when it buys at this first price that it has purchased for you, it will um, automatically, when it sells, sorry, when it sells, automatically it will buy again for you and wait for another time. And then position, double position is on because we actually set it on. That is what is there. And what we bought this coin or what we entered the market at was when this coin was the average price. What you see here that is called the average price, it means this is the price at which we bought this coin at. We bought the coin when it was $4,322. Now, the volume of coin that is currently holding here, the hold amount in USDT is this, this 29. Remember, the, the first purchase price there was 30 USDT. So this 29.99999 is the hold amount, which is supposed to be 30 USDT. And then the volume which we bought of Ethereum worth 30 USDT is this. This one here is the volume of the amount of Ethereum that we bought at 30 USDT. And this is the current price. This is the price at which we bought, and then this is the current price. So the numbers of calls, let's say it has called one, once, twice, or thereabout, that is what you see when you see numbers of calls. You see it here. 
and the coverage price is when the price at which it will flow to it, let's say it want to, when it goes down below this price, this coverage price, that means it has gone down below 3%, which is the first percentage that you said, and it will buy either two times or three times or whatever you put there for, for you. And this price or this coin will only take profit, will only make profit for us if this token, this current price there goes up to 4,391. Once it goes up here, it will sell and then buy again. So the, if this market, if this particular coin now doesn't get up to this liquidation price, it will not sell for you. So always take note of this, it will not sell for you. Now, um, if going further to explain this, let me screw up here. This tab here means if you want to pause the trade, you just click on this icon and it will pause the trade for you. Let's say your token is running in profit, 1%, 2%, you're seeing 2%, 3% or 4% plus and it has not taken profit, though it is not possible, once you have enough USDT to, uh, for your fuel, it automatically take profit. But let's say you don't set it to take profit, let's say you set it to take profit at 10%, but right now you are seeing 5%. If you see 5%, you just click on full liquidation. Full liquidation means that it automatic, you are manually stopping the trade and it will take profit at that moment. But when it's showing minus, 10% minus 20%, if you come here and click full liquidation, you are selling your coin at loss. So you can only use this option manually when you are in profit. If your trade is showing minus percentage, minus this, minus that, and you go ahead and use full liquidation, you are selling your token at loss. And replenishment is to add more coin to, or to add more funds to the trade that you are currently working on. Now, how this thing work is this. Please pay attention to this. Our liquidation price right now is this. It means that when the token rise from this to this 4,391, it will take profit for us. But if I go ahead and add more form by using the replenishment option here, if I go ahead and add replenishment, if I click on it, you will see this will open. It means it's asking me to deposit some funds in usdt to the amount remember that what is holding right now the amount that is currently hold in on hold right here is 30. this is the amount that is currently hold on hold right here is 30. so if i use this replenishment whatsoever i add here using this replenishment option will actually increase what we have here and when it increases what we have here this will drop it means instead of waiting for us to take profit at 3,391, uh, 3, it will now reduce to either 3,029 or 3,039. 3, 3, uh, 3, sorry, it will drop to 4,038 something or 4,029 something. And I want to experiment that for you to see. So all I just need to do is to click on the replenishment option. And let's say I want to add 10 USDT or let's say 20 what i currently have so i go ahead and put in 20 usdt here and submit and when i submit that did it go yes uh, update successful so i go ahead and click on confirm you will now see that the 20 that i added has increased this from 30 to about 50 right here and the liquidation price it didn't actually affect this but this normally changed it normally drops this. I don't know why it, it did not update here, but normally when you replenish here, it will not drop the liquidation amount to what is lower. It means that you will not take profit when the, the market goes down to this. And because I have replenished this, instead of taking profit of 1% of 30 USDT, I will not be taking profit of 1% of 50 USDT. So that is how this uh, replenishment option works. You use it to add more funds to your account. So that when it finally sells, you will not be making profit or whatever amount you have here as against the initial amount that you have. And basically that is all I have to explain for you in the trading settings. And I believe with all that I've said here, you get a better understanding of it. I will not leave rooms for questions because more clarification will be when you ask your questions. So if you have any questions to ask, all you just need to do is to indicate by raising up your hand and uh, I'll go ahead and throw more light on that. If you have any question or anything I've not mentioned, please kindly raise your hand. I disable the 
mode option so that uh, we don't have the, some persons distracting us while the meeting is going on. All right, if we don't have any question, it means that uh, you all understood all that I've explained in this part. Okay, you can use the chat section or raise up your hand. Can we reduce amount same way you, no, you cannot reduce amount. You can only add amount to your tree. You cannot reduce amount because already the amount you use has already been added or be used, it has been used to buy a particular token for you. So there's no way you can reduce it, but you can only add. So you can reduce, you can only add. I hope that is clear. Any other question? You can use the chat section if you don't want to speak by raising up your hand, just use the chat section and I'll definitely attend to your questions. And as a bonus for all of you, I made mention of the board with the upgrade that is ongoing, um, I made mention that more features are being added and that will be live in two to three weeks from now. And those who are already trading with this board will benefit from it. And you still have a chance to activate this board for 50 USDT as against the 150. That bonus is still running. You can activate this board right now because uh, hopefully by next month, it may not be the same. You will know, the, the only option to you will have will be to buy this at 40 at 150. Tell us how to fund the fuel. Okay, let me go ahead and show you how to fund the fuel. So if you want to fund your account for the fuel, all you just need to do is come down here where it says, let me raise this up. So, okay, there is an option there that say profile. So you want to go ahead and click on profile. So just go ahead and click on profile here. Once you click on profile, once that opened up, you want to go to where it says asset and click on asset. So go ahead and click on asset. Once you click on asset, that will open up. Once you go to profile, you want to go to assets. Once you click on asset, this is where you see. And down here, you see where it says um, recharge. So you will see where it says recharge down here. You want to click on that recharge option. So you go ahead and click on recharge. And when you click on recharge, the next thing it will be to copy this USDT address. This is the address you are going to send your phone to. Once I click on recharge, an address will be generated for me. I just need to click this icon to copy the address. This particular icon here, once I click on it, the address is copied. So the next thing I want to do is to go back to my Huobi app. Let's say, let me open up my Huobi app. Go ahead and open up Huobi. And once I open up will be, you want to come in here to where it says balance. Um, by the left hand, right hand side down there where it says balance, you want to click on it. And if you ask you to log in, go ahead and log in. Once you click on it, you go ahead and click on withdraw at the top here. Just go ahead and click on withdraw at the top. And then when it brings you here, you want to search for the coin you want to withdraw. In this case, we are going to withdraw USDT. So I'll go ahead and search for USDT here and then click on USDT. Once I click on USDT, the next thing you want to do is um, just go ahead and confirm all of this. If you are using um, this, this keep popping up um, sometime, but if it is your first time of using it, go ahead and just accept all of them and confirm. And then when you confirm, this is where it becomes tricky. By default, it will tell you ERC20. Make sure that you select TRC20. Please, the network matters select your network as TRC20 because the, uh, the address you're sending it to is TRC20. So you now click and hold here and paste the address you copy and then select TRC20. And then when you select TRC20, you go ahead and put in the withdraw amount, that you, the amount you want to withdraw. And after that, you go ahead and click on withdraw and that will be withdrawn successfully. Follow the on-screen instruction for your security setting and that token will be withdrawn successfully to your account. And once it's withdrawn to your account, you will be seeing everything showing up in your um, account here. So you'll be seeing it reflecting in your account here. I hope that take care of that question of how to deposit um, to your Huobi, from your Huobi, okay? Does the trading funds determine the number of times the bot buys again after selling? No, the trading funds, does not determine because in as much as you have fun, even if it is $15, the board will keep buying because when the board sells, 
it automatically returns your money to your account and then buys again. And that is why we have uh, something like any call back to be 1.7. Once, once it sells at 1% and then the price drops by 0.1, it buys again. So it will keep buying. It doesn't determine the amount. The only thing that determines the amount of money you have on your account is when the coin is minus 3%, minus 10%, minus 20%. That is when you need to have enough for to buy the dip. And when you are buying the dip, it covers up for um, every other thing that you have been delayed when the price actually goes up. So buying and selling, does the coin does not determine that. In as much as you have given a target of buying at 30 USDT, buying at 15 or 50 or whatever, in as much as you have those funds in your account, it will keep buying for you. But when you need enough fund to cover up for all of the buy double position is when the market is negative 10%, negative 4% and so on.